welcome welcome back to my youtube channel my name is saskia from poe designs and um today i'm going to show you how to design a tumblr wrap like put everything together with the size and everything and um we're going to uh, print it on a tumblr later this week um welcome if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome back if you are a new subscriber welcome look around and see what videos are uh are valuable to you and watch them and comment give me a thumbs up and everything okay today i'm going to show you how how i'm going to use this uh design this image to create a tumblr wrap i'm going to put it on a tumblr but i'm going to add more stuff um i'm going to add a background some text to it and everything so let's do that together i'm right now in silhouette studio i'm in the business edition but you can also do this in designer edition i think you can also do it in basic edition i'm not so sure but designer edition business edition yes you can do it in there okay um first thing i'm going to do i'm going to change my my media my paper uh i have page set up um open and i will turn or will put it into um landscape orientation okay um always check your paper your print border if your print border is is missing on one of these or two of these places that means your your paper won't print out well you have to fix your print border uh let me show you really quick how to do that uh, here i have letter like 8.5 by 11 inch and um i have it in landscape for instance if i didn't have this line i i, I didn't have it on on two sides of the paper that means it's wrong i'll show you how to correct it go to file print page setup and uh, you see it here i have landscape uh your size of your paper paper and the size should be 8.5 just like that one um you decide where the source of the paper is on your printer cassette one or two i always have mine in cassette one and um uh, here the size you select it and then you choose letter size okay you need to choose your size here for instance if i chose um super b for instance and i click okay you see my two lines are missing because the print border is much bigger the print border goes this go 13 inch this line go 20 inch and this one goes 19 inch down so my work won't print out well i need to have my print page set up on the size i want to print out on so the size should be um, um letter 8.5 by 11 you see it here and i click ok and you see my print border came back okay let's continue um um my tumbler will be the 20 ounce tumbler and my tumblers are eight inch tall and 9.3 i think or 9.2 um, um like the around it the size around it okay so i know i'm going to have to create my um uh, my template a little bit bigger a little bit taller than the size of the the tumbler so um like i told you my tumbler is eight inch so my template should be like 8.25 inch high i'm going to get a background to put at the background and we're going to work take it from there i'm going to open it i think i opened it recently so i have it here um yeah it's this one it's very big when i opened it very very big but i'm going to shrink it i keep it selected i select it i'll go here and i'll lock i'll change it to 9.5 and then i'll enter and then it's gone i will as i know it's selected i will just come here click here and then i'll get it back okay and i will right click and copy it and bring it to my image i'll put it here right click and paste okay now we're going to work with the size of the tumbler that i said i i need to unlock it it shouldn't be locked because i'm gonna change it um for the height of the tumbler um tumblr template it will be 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25 8.25
8.25 and I'll enter it. You see, it, it changed to 8.25. Um, I'm going to use my tumbler press so I don't want to give myself too much work with cut with you know with all those things. I have it on 8.25 and the width, like here, I will have it have it on 9.4. 9.4 enter. So let me write it down here for you really quick. For my tumbler, always let me tell you this, always measure your tumblers. Um take a measure measuring ribbon, measure around it, and measure from top to bottom. Because um different manufacturers um make different sizes of 20 ounce tumblers. Once I got two different sizes from two different places. So always measure your tumblers first before you create your um template. Or before you print out your template, always measure for so that you can make the right adjustment. Okay, mine is 9.3 by 8.25 inch. Okay, this is it. Okay, I know that my tumbler is 8 inch, okay? 8 inch, the body is 8 inch. My image, I don't want my image. Oh, no. Let me group this thing together. Group everything together. Yeah, it's grouped. I don't want my, my, my image to stick out. Bring it to the front. Yep. Come on. Yeah, bring it to the front. I don't want my image to stick out. So my image, the size of my image, I will make it like, um, not taller than eight inch i will make it around like 7.75 inch so i will lock it here again because i want everything to have the right um proportion like ratio rational rational i will put the height 7.75 okay and it shrunk to the right size let me try it again and i'll put it here Put it around here because i want to have some text here put it around here one more thing mm, where am i here yeah one more thing um you see when you when you print your paper out you will tuck a little bit of the top into the cup and tuck a little bit of the bottom to the bottom of the cup so you need to pay attention to that take into consideration that size so your image should be um in the in between those two so that nothing will cut off i don't want anything to cut off that's why i have it on 7.5 7.75 because my thing is eight inch maybe i can even go a little bit lower let me see to be sure let's say seven point um 65 mm -hmm. okay and then i'm going to add the name i'll go to the thing here the text editor it should be mrs i think dot the davis and i'll change my font i don't like this font i'll go over here and I'll change it to this font. Okay, it's pretty big. I'll move this a little bit to the back. Okay, I have my word, my name. I'm going to right click. Um, I'm going to weld it. Weld. Okay, and then I'm going to... You can group it or make it compound. And then I'm going to color it. I'll do it purple. Purple. Okay, this name here, I, I, I'm going to add some, um, how do you call this thing again? Offset around it. I'll keep it selected. I'll go to my offset panel. Offset. This one is too thick. I'm going to decrease the distance. I'll apply it. And then I will color it black. And I'll take the red line out the stroke and i will add one more offset around it 
decrease it really well and apply it and I will make that white okay mm, actually actually this purple right here the purple I will open here I want the same purple that is in the design I will open here and take the dropper and let's see if I can get this purple yeah I think it's good okay I'll select all take the stroke out I think this purple is nice okay I will group everything I will group it and then let me tell you I I I, I have a uh, trouble with um with putting things straight so I have a trick of putting things really straight like really straight if I want to turn it so I go to the retro to the uh, replicate and I use this you see to put it really straight for me and then I'll delete this one because I would have trouble getting it straight in there okay also this this name right here I need to put it the same size the same uh, height I'm going to change it here 65 okay and then I will um I will align it with the paper right here let me see I think it's this one align it in the middle mm -hmm. or you can also align it with this one yeah with this one align it actually it was that one okay let me see i will bring this to the front because i don't want the butterfly to be behind it okay the butterfly is right here one more thing i'm gonna do i'm going to duplicate this i'm gonna bring it here and i'm gonna get some butterflies out of it I want to turn this butterfly really quick and I'm going to add a butterfly on Miss Davis right here and I'll flip it horizontally no actually I had to flip it vertically yeah this way Mrs. Davis let me see if I can have one more in here okay I think this is enough I want to delete this one delete this one okay now I have my template uh, let me let me give you a hint here look if you if you're pressing tumblers and you want it to have like if a clean seam sometimes not too clean but you want it to be nice at the seam it's very small to have the the seams like this part and this part looking like each other if they look like each other in this case you see this uh, this part and this part they look like each other when i will wrap it, wrap it around my uh tumbler and press it um it will look nice even if there will be a, a, a fine line but it will look very nice most of the time pe people want to have a clean seam they want everything to flow into each other but these two sides the two ends they don't look like each other it will, won't be possible but in this case it will it will flow into each other it will look like each other even if it will have a, 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 a like a line a separation but it will be very nice so um this is my uh tumbler template and this is where i'm going to print out and i'm going to press it on the tumbler i'm going to show you how i do it how i put it on the tumbler how i press it i'm going to tell you about my tumbler press how i do it and how you can achieve perfect tumblers too thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and to, uh, to click on the notification bell so that you can know when i upload other videos and um also like share and comment on my channel and thank you so much for the support and stay tuned 
for um, the video where I print this Tumblr, where I do sublimation on the Tumblr with this design. Thank you so much. Have a great day.